Hi, thank you so much for um, being here today. I have just a couple questions for you. Um, I, um, Dangerous Liaisons has been adapted um, many times. I think this this might be the fourth one I've seen, and uh, it's it, it's definitely a new take. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about what drew you. Um, were you familiar with the, with the story and what drew you to this particular production of it? Um, no, I wasn't familiar with the story. I hadn't actually watched any of the films or the adaptations or the book. I've never read the book. So when I auditioned, I, I guess I didn't really feel the weight of what this, um, this franchise essentially was. Um, but I think what drew me into it was the world of the period piece. And I think all the themes that the script really explored was, was really interesting to me and the intricacies of all the characters and all the, you know, all those juicy bits. I just really enjoyed that. I'm really uh, drawn to Victoire's relationship um, mm -hmm. with Camille in the story. Uh, you know, when the story opens up, uh, is she the maid? Uh, is she a friend? Could you give our um, viewers a little hint at what we're going to see in this pivotal relationship? Yeah, I think, um, of course, yes, Victoire is chambermaid um, at that time. And but she's also way more than that. Um, me and Leonora Lodsdale, our first block director, called her the detective of the show because she really is a detective. She has a nag for something and she just has to get to the bottom of it. And essentially she's kind of the catalyst of the show um, due to her detective behaviors. But she's also just also just a, just a very beautiful, humorous, cheeky character um, that just brings a lot of joy and grounding to the series. There's a... There's a line, there's a scene in episode one that really stands out for me where Camille is talking to the um to the to the Marquise mm -hmm. and she says, Well, um, Camille, you can stay, but Victoire's gotta go. Mm -hmm. And Camille says, uh, no, she's in my care. And you know, as I watch the episode, I, I, is Camille in Victoire's care or is Victoire in Camille's care? Like who's <laughs> I think, you know, I think Camille's more in Victoire's care when you look at the overview of the thing but that I think they both care for each other in very different ways um I think Camille brings a very emotional care um into Victoire's world that she necessarily hadn't had before um and I think that's what makes this relationship very tight whereas Victoire's brings emotional you know care but essentially she she brings very much practical care um and she does a lot for Camille's surroundings therefore Camille was never really like injured, if that makes sense. I, I don't know how to explain it, but that's always how I see it. She's like always protecting her, overseeing her, finding things out for her. So she never really hopefully gets into the mess too much. She does. And, and you know, what does Victoire get from that? I, I think it's that relief she gets <laughs> because she just honestly will just keep rolling in her bed at night until she gets to the bottom of it. Um, it's not necessarily to feed it to, you know, Camille. I think it's for her own like self-pleasure like she has to get to the bottom of this because she feels that something is something is wrong and it's I think that's her worst trait because sometimes you just need to mind your business and leave them some things alone otherwise we wouldn't be where we are today that's funny because she keeps telling Camille drop it we got to get out of here we're going to get in trouble it's all over so she says one thing but maybe she doesn't that's take her own advice yeah but I think in that in that sense I think it's also because she's trying to prove a point I think each time she's really gullible where she thinks that if she finds this out and shows Camille, that Camille will go, oh my God, this is fucked up. You're right, let's get out of here. This place is weird. But rather what she wishes never really happens <laughs> and Camille just ends up, yeah, moving mad. Um, so I think, bless her, she's just, she's, she's, yeah, she's just confused, man. It's a confusing, it's a confusing world. It is. It, this, this, um, this, is sort of like, I feel this production is a little bit dangerous liaison meets Game of Thrones. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like because, that. Uh, right? Everyone's trying to get ahead. Everyone's trying to get dirt on each other. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just trying to get to the top of the food chain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And some of them, some of them don't even know why, right? Some <laughs> of them have a goal. Exactly. Some of them just like the game. Exactly, exactly. In one of the flashback episodes, we see how Camille and Victoire met, um, but I haven't seen um, how the relationship developed. Are we gonna learn more about what what brings them together? I mean, they met, you know, I don't wanna spoil how they met, um, yeah, and, and they're very close now, but there's so stuff bad. going on. Hmm. Um, 
I think hopefully that's something we can build on more um, and find all those spaces. But um, that was something that, you know, we, me, Alice, the whole team kind of um, wondered. I think we built that within ourselves and hopefully tried to get that feeling of there's clearly a bond here and there's clearly a history. But in terms of that history, yeah, I hope Harriet builds on that. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope so. Um, I also hope, um, are you going to get to wear a wig and a big dress? Are you going to get to go in disguise? I, you know, there are so many, the sets, I mean, I'm sure just being on the set is fabulous. Even. Yeah. Um, I mean, no, she won't wear a wig because she's Muslim. So she wears a hijab, but hopefully she'll be rocking up different hijab styles. Um, and hopefully we'll see her wearing, you know, different costumes. And, and I'm really interested to see where she goes. I think her journey is really a really fun one. Um, and a really mysterious one. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. Um, well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. I've seen, I guess there are eight, a total of eight episodes, I think. Eight episodes, yeah. So um, I'm going to have to wait a long time for the last three to drop, but uh, yeah. thanks so much. It's a really fantastic fresh take on it. I, I really have loved this, um, this production right. um, and uh, can't wait to see how the fans like it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you.